Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocast. Today I will show you how to communicate QPLC using socket communication with FX5 UPLC. So let's get started. And this is a uh, system. First we will use QPLC as an active connection. So let's go to PLC parameters. Because we are using a built-in Ethernet port of the uh, PLC. So let's the IP setting 192.168.1.90 so first I will open the setting see I have used TCP socket communication with TCP connection as active port number for uh, QPLC will be 8192 and for the destination the IP address will be 1.51 and the destination port number is 8192 so this is the setting part now communication data code type so we can use both of the types like Bandy or Ascari. So presently I am using Ascari communication. So let me click check. No error. Okay. And end. Now for uh, programming the active connection, I will require mainly four instructions. That is sp dot socket open command, socket send command socket receive command and socket close command so sm400 here i have used sm400 with sg1288.a dot a for front port connection status that is for building ethernet port that will trigger a timer named t0 the timer t0 will trigger m1000 so by this m1000 the sp socket open command will be used so u0 is dummy k1 is for connection status uh, connection number sorry and uh, D100 is for uh, completion of the instruction. So in this, in the error of in the case of error, the M101 will turn on. Now, I use socket send command here. If I U0 is same as dummy, K1 is the connection number. D10 is for uh, uh, if there is some error, the, the data which uh, the error code will show at D100. Now D30 is number of data over socket communication suppose i use in d30 i used k2 in that case k31 and 32 will be sent the data in k31 and 32 will be sent so the number of data to be transferred over socket send command will be here 2 so it will consume 31 and 32 if it's 52 then it will consume 52 after 31 including 31 so now the same I have used 110 for knowing if there is some error or not. Now uh, socket receive command is used here. So again the uh, y u0 is dummy k1 is the connection number d hundred for the status and d1500 is to receive the data. In d1500 if suppose effect, uh, the other PLC or the other uh, station sends some data suppose 4 data it has sent so, so in 1500 it will show 4 and after that 1500 1 to 1503 oh sorry 1500 1 to 1504 the data will be present 4 data will be present so this is for socket receive uh, receive command now this is for the socket com close command if you want to close the connection you can close the command this is all from the side of QPLC using FT connection. Now let's move on to FX5 UPLC here. So, let me first show you the Ethernet port configuration here. The IP address is 1.51 as shown in the QPLC I use. QPLC is 1.15 is IP. ASCA is the communication data board, and uh, you can use. So here I will have used FX5U as the full passive connection. So in that case, I need socket communication, TCP, the PLC IP address 8192, the destination IP means the master PLC which I used is 1. Dot, that is for QPLC 1.19. And the port number is 8192. So, close it, click the setting, apply. Now, so 
So this is M500. This is socket receive command. So again, the same is uh, here. Same applies here well, uh, as is QPLC. So in 500, I will receive data. In 500, I will receive D500. I will receive the how much data I have received. And after that, uh, in, uh, suppose I have used, uh, received two data, so the uh, data will be received in 501 and 502. And in 50, I will receive two. Yes. So now in this socket send command is here also. So in 2500, see, let's suppose I have to send 40. I am using 40 here. So the socket send command will send 40 words that will include from 2501 to 2541. So I am using FMO that will uh, send all K55 value to from K from D52501 to D541. So this is all from my side. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.